Today, I'm going to tell you how I cosplayed as a Moi from Naruto. So first starting off, I bought a katana. It's a fake EVA foam one from Amazon. But as you can see, it is black. So Omoi's is red, so I'll spray paint it red. Uh, I really didn't know what I was doing. I've never spray painted something before. So if you're looking at me like, what is this dude doing? Then now you know why. But basically I just spray painted it. It's a really bright red color. I decided to flip it over after it dried a little bit. Spray painted the other side. Um, but unfortunately what kept happening is since I didn't have cardboard I was using newspaper and as you can see it kept sticking to it and it was messing up the paint job so basically I would just like spray back over it if anything stuck to it. So again just spraying more and then eventually yeah, it keeps sticking to it and it kept messing it up uh, but instead of trying to peel it off since it was really stuck to it I just kept spray painting over it. So next thing, uh, I don't know why I was trying to go over this with a sharpie, I was kind of messing up the handle, but Omoi's uh, handle also has red diamonds on it instead of black, so I uh, just went over it with that with some acrylic paint. It wasn't really the neatest job, but honestly for what I was doing, I think it was good enough. So you can see, really just changed the color and got the look of the sword. I also, you see that there, pretty nice, but yeah, I gotta like cut this low to where it's not hanging over. And I still gotta cut this so it's like a, a piece. Basically what I did, I measured it on both sides and just cut through so it didn't go too uh, far through the hoodie when wearing it. So you can see I cut it a little shorter and now it fits a little better. Now I was just marking where to kind of make it into a vest instead of a tank top. So I was just drawing over with like a mechanical pencil just to get a guideline. Then when I cut through, uh, I just made sure to keep one arm of the tank top so it's more like the Cloud Village vest. So I just made sure to try to follow the guideline as close as I could. And as you can see, you know, it's fitting a little bit better, but I noticed when I cut it like that, it actually went a little bit below the hoodie. So again, I just cut it uh, along the bottom just to make it a little bit shorter. So next, I just decided to make some guidelines to draw over what is on the Cloud Village vest. I got a gray Sharpie and pretty much just went all over it with the designs. And in the end, you can see it looks something like this. Uh, pretty much as accurate as I could get to the actual Cloud Village vest. All right, so basically mounting the sword on the hoodie, it was interesting. I just used some fishing line and like pushed it through the hoodie, made a knot through there, and I made a separate knot with some fishing line through here and tied it to this loop here. So basically like won't detach or slide down through that. But basically, uh, yeah, the sword and the sheath is attached to the hoodie. So next was actually to deal with these socks and Naruto boots. Uh, basically got both these on Amazon. The boots actually took a little bit longer to get by. Uh, but as you see, when I put them on, my socks still show, which is not what Omoi does. He actually exposes his toes. So I just made a mark where to cut it through, cut through the sock so I can expose my toes. I don't know why my toes are so long. Yeah, I'm basically just exposed myself in this video. So yeah, I did it for both socks, put them on, and then, you know, basically had the red sock, uh, but my toes showing through. So now for putting the whole outfit together, I had some uh, American Eagle joggers I already had. So basically I just pulled them up so I could see more of the sock on both sides and folded it to hold it in place. Then I put on the Naruto boots itself and they're actually zip up so I can actually fix the sock since it was rolling up on me. Next, I got some athletic tape from Target and this was to put around kind of like my thighs or knees. And I didn't want to put it too much around my knee because otherwise it would restrict my movement a lot. Um, so pretty much just made an X with the tape on both sides. Next, some wise words from Jimmy Zhang. He said I actually put on deodorant before you go to convention. So yeah, pretty helpful tips. You can get a deodorant. You can get a deodorant too. You can get a deodorant too. <laughs> but yeah, I was actually trying to put on the hoodie and I was struggling a little bit as you can see, but eventually I did get the hoodie on. So this does have the sword attached to the back like I mentioned before. You can see it's attached. And the hoodie did still have the drawstring, so I needed to cut that off. But yeah, basically just cut off on both sides so I could look more accurate like Omoi. One thing I found out when putting the vest on, it was actually easier to put it on from the bottom up because the sword kept catching on it whenever I put it top to the bottom. Uh, so basically I put it bottom up, it was able to fit on better and actually look like the vest that goes over his hoodie. Next I put on some wrist guards I got from Amazon as well. And I just put the hoodie back over since he doesn't have his sleeves really rolled up. And then next was to put on the hair dye. So this was like a temporary dye. You can wash it out with water and shampoo or soap. So start off with a light application. It's more like a gray right now. 
So basically, I just keep going over until it was more white. I think that should be good. But now I gotta like get this off the edge of my face. Even though I have a headband on, so you won't really be able to see the edges as much. My ear. I'm gonna just dry for a little bit. Also, something I forgot to do, I see has white around that, so. A little better. There we go. Freaking toes exposed out here. This will probably get some of that hair paint on it, but it's alright. It should be pretty dry enough for it won't mess up too much. Get the double tie. And boom, I think that's it. Got this in the back. I'm too like. <laughs> oh goodness. Hardest part is gonna be putting it back. I can barely reach it. There we go, though. But yeah, I think that's it. Well, like, I'm looking at the camera, but like, I'm there. <laughs> and then also, of course, you gotta have your lollipop, but like, I'm gonna save that to when I get to the convention. But yeah, that should complete the cosplay. I'll give a little like what it looked like at the convention and how it looked like overall, some pictures. And yeah, that's how I cosplayed as Omoi from Naruto. So if you haven't seen the uh, convention at Animazement vlog, then make sure you check that out. It'll be a link in the outro. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. This is my first time cosplaying, so yeah, just, you know, be nice because I'm not a professional cosplayer or anything. I just wanted to try it. But yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.